Hello again, Izzy from Digital Goja Showrooms. And I've noticed some questions on our YouTube channel, on our customer service questionnaires on Amazon and eBay, on how do I work with a flash for high-speed photography for sports. If this video helps you out, remember to hit us up with a like button underneath. And as always, subscribe to our channel for future sessions and tutorials such as this. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Now, the issue isn't whether the camera can do high-speed shooting. Of course they all can. Nowadays, today's modern cameras have the capability of shooting at an incredible rate so that I can go ahead and set the camera to shoot very fast action. So, for example, on this guy, if I set it to high-speed shooting, it, it's lightning fast. I mean, so that's going to stop action. The important thing is setting the flash properly and whether the flash can do it. For example, here I have a very popular manual flash. This is the Altura Universal. And now this flash has a capability of being lowered as far as the power ratio. So I can set it to a smaller power output and that way I can recycle faster. But that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be able to stop action. And I'll show you as an example. Let's put the flash on the camera here. I set it to a lower power ratio so it'll have a faster recycling time. But now if I'm shooting and I have again to synchronize with this flash, it usually works better at 1 60th of a second. So it fired every single time. So each one of these shots was captured one right after the other. So of course there's no moving action here in the studio. It, Digital Goja showrooms. But I'm shooting at 1 60th of a second. For fast action sports photography, it's usually recommended to shoot at something like above 1 500th of a second. So I'm going to set it to, let's say, for example, 1 800th of a second. And now I'm going to continue firing. Now you saw that the flash fired every single time, but now I'm going to show you the issue. Look, see what happens? See how a portion of the, f of the image is completely dark? Because your shutter curtain closed a lot faster than the flash was able to recycle with it. So you weren't able to get a proper flash exposure. So how do we remedy that? Well, here is another flash. This one is the Altura Photo APC958X. And this flash has high speed sync. So now we're going to put the flash on our Rebel. And I'm going to set it to high speed sync. And when this flash has high speed sync, you're going to notice the little indicator on the LCD that has the H with the little flash synchronization. That means it's set to high speed synchronization. So now I have this set at 1 800th of a second so that I can stop any kind of moving subject matter. And let me fire off again. Notice how with this one, since I had it synced at 1 800th of a second, we had no problem with getting the entire image. Of course, I don't have any fast moving subject matter here in the Digital Goja showrooms, but this is the way that you'll be able to stop any kind of movement in sports photography with a proper strobe. You have to make sure that your flash had high speed sync. Happy shooting.